Des Moines Area Regional Transit, or DART, says it may need to cut some services in the coming years. The potential cuts would be up to 40% over the next five years. KCCI's Ethan Humble learned why DART is struggling to keep up with the increasing rider demand. Ethan. Yes, Ben Stacy. DART gives Central Iowa residents and visitors 3.2 million rides each year. But now the company says the future of that relies on more funding from the city of Des Moines. Without DART buses, life would be a lot more difficult for some Des Moines neighbors. I ain't gonna have no transportation. No way to get where I don't need to go. It's like hardened because we count on the bus. I count on the bus every day. It makes it hard for those who um, basically have no income. And while DART won't be going anywhere, there may be some cuts to the buses in the future. The city of Des Moines hit the maximum amount it can receive through property taxes several years ago. So with bus demand increasing, DART cannot look to property taxes for more funding. It is looking for another way, by charging the city a franchise fee. DART says that would follow suit with other major cities it services. A lot of uh, transit systems throughout the country are funded through different funding mechanisms. Um, the most common we see is a sales tax. If the Des Moines City Council agrees, they would increase a fee that's already paid by residents in their utility bills. The fee is at 5% now, but because of a new Iowa law this year, the city can raise it to 7.5%. That increase would help fund DART services. Des Moines City Manager Scott Sanders says the decision will come when the new city council members are seated in early 2024. If that doesn't happen, DART may need to cut services by 40% over the next five years. DART Chief Planning Officer Luis Montoya says that would lead to longer waits, fewer options for trips, and longer travel times. And thinking back as to how people travel across the region, they, they sometimes need to take multiple bus routes, and that becomes harder when those buses come less frequently. DART says it could also include the loss of the currently free of charge D-Line. It's causing one neighbor to call for action. The city needs to get DART more money because we need the DART buses. And DART wants you to complete their survey, share your testimonial, or contact your city council representative if you want to express your need for busing. And that's going to open to the public tomorrow. Stacy. Thanks, Ethan.